Hey everyone, Anthony from Ace Woodco here and today I'm building a charging station. This is a quick build that will only take 15 to 30 minutes. I wanted to make the charging station 20 by 20 inches so here I'm ripping it down 18 and a half inch and I'm using scrap 3 quarter inch plywood in my shop which will give me that 20 inches. I'm ripping down pieces where the drills will sit on and I'll be setting the charging station on a French cleat. So here I am ripping my French cleat at 45 degrees. I'm cutting the side panels at 20 inches and this will give me the nice dimensions that I'm looking for. I also wanted to keep the charging station at roughly 10 inches deep so I ripped this down to 10 and 3 quarters. The pieces that hold the drill I ripped down to 4 inches. This gave me enough space so that the drills will sit in there nicely. I made the holster roughly 4 inches by 4 inches. This gave me the option to keep the drill upright or upside down and be able to slide in there without the battery getting in the way. I used a 2 8 hole saw bit which I had with my door hardware kit and it worked out great. This gave me enough room to add all the cords that I need to run through the hole. And one quick tip with drilling holes is and when you're halfway through, flip the piece over and drill through the rest of the hole. This ensures that you'll have no tear out on the faces of the pieces, even though this is still just a shop charging station. I ended up using just an 18 gauge brad nailer. I also didn't want to glue all these pieces together because I feel like a garage shop is always changing and you'll always want to alter things once you've built things. It's now time to add the first shelf and the dividers for the drill. I laid out all my marks as a guide so that all I have to do is just sight and shoot the 18 gauge. For the shelf above, I marked it at 9 inches above the bottom shelf. This ensured there's enough room for your chargers and room for other miscellaneous stuff that you want to end up throwing in there. Now to add the drill supports. Again I'm just using all brad nail construction because in the future most likely I'll be changing this again. The great thing about projects like this is that you find out what works, what you can improve and ultimately just making your shop a better, more efficient space. Time to add the French cleat. I ended up using glue on this cleat. I figured that it's gonna be carrying majority of the weight so a little bit of glue didn't hurt anybody. Oh. And don't forget the brad nails too. I added two backer block pieces to the back of the charging station so that it sits up level to the wall. With the French cleat leveled and attached to the wall, it's time to throw the charging station on it. And just like that, a charging station to help organize your chaotic garage. Please hit that like and subscribe button and thanks for watching.